Nancy Mijumbi has been on a car hunt for months. Finally, she has settled for this, a Japanese mech. But she says it has cost her an arm and a leg. It has been high, eh? yeah. Only that it is the choice I wanted, I had to go for it. But it has increased a lot. The past few months have not been a good time to buy a car. The price tag on a car like this was about $8,000 four months ago. It is now $2,000 more, a price buyers are struggling to pay. Hafiz Muhammad, a car dealer, says what is driving up the prices is the taxes levied on imported cars, the high dollar rate and the drop in supply of cars from Asia. There is a big, big issue for containers. Before, uh, like for one container, we were paying there like $2,000. Nowadays, we can't get in the uh, same container even $7,000. And one container can keep, uh, can keep like four to five units. A ban on car imports older than 15 years has also affected business. Vehicles manufactured before 2008 cannot be imported into the country. Motor experts say that is leaving buyers with limited options. People are actually now revolting to buying old cars uh, because the money is not enough and it's what they can actually afford, meaning not many people are going to the bond to buy new cars. The dealers admit the prices are less likely to drop anytime soon. That means it may take a while before buyers can see some relief. There is only one solution. They will get to use the prices and they have to understand. But it remains a tough choice on which car to buy and at how much.